When I first started doing television, I was just doing television to come back here to pit lane to interview a team owner and then say, hey, by the way, if you want a real driver, I'm available. Well, AJ, actually, when I drove for AJ, it was a very interesting experience. Um, one of which we were behind, we we're having mechanical problems, it was at Toronto and it came down to where we'd had gearbox issues, we had had some trouble with the car and it was time to qualify. So he said just go out there and give it everything. I did, I clipped the wall, it was on, on turn five, I clipped the wall at the apex and the car shot across, I mean it was bad, it shot across the road and I took the whole left side of the car off. And so the safety team arrived, the first thing they asked me was am I okay and then they said you're not going to be okay when AJ sees this. <laughs> well, things definitely sort of on the road towards IndyCar. I mean, I was very fortunate to have some success and have a couple championships. And, and Indy Lights in particular is something that I will always cherish. Uh, we didn't necessarily have, well, we definitely didn't have the highest budget team. And to pull off the Indy Lights championship in 88 um, with equal cars, equal engines, uh, that is something that I'm very proud of and the team, how hard that they worked. And that did give me an opportunity to get started in IndyCar racing, but at a time when you couldn't really get drives with the best chassis and with the best engine. And so times have changed now. If you get into one of these teams, obviously now the equipment is such that you have a chance to shine. In those days, you really needed an opportunity with sponsorship to move forward. I mean, I got quite a few shots in IndyCar and I'm pleased with how it went, but didn't get that shot to, to run with a top team. There were some times when I might be able to do a little sports car racing or do things, but like many of the guys up and down pit road here, I have kind of an all or nothing mentality. So it was hard for me to think that I would want to dabble in driving. It's like, okay, I'm going to be fully on the gas and driving or be committed to television. So really kind of when, and to be honest, I didn't really have the opportunity. I mean, the doors kept opening for television. I was doing more and more work and I wasn't specifically asked to drive, but I didn't really chase it because I enjoyed what I was doing. Well, the television part actually started right out of Indy Lights. I won Indy Lights in 88, and then in 1989, when during Indy Lights coverage, I was asked just to come back and kind of do a little bit of guest analysis. I was in the booth with Jack Aroot, uh, so he was doing play-by-play. -play. I was doing analysis just as my, that was my getting my feet wet in 1989, and then I had an opportunity later when I was running Indy cars to to have an opportunity to fill in on occasion on pit road and that was kind of the the beginning of the television era after about the first year i mean it was something that i prayed about a lot and essentially i just wanted to drive i mean television was great but to me that would come later and i just prayed you know will the right doors open and interestingly the doors kept closing on the driving side and the doors kept opening on the television side and i decided you know what these doors are opening, I need to honor those prayers, and if that's the way God is leading me, I'm going to be all in. And so in my second year, I decided, you know what, if I'm going to do television, I need to do it like when I used to drive.